welcome to my very first haul here on my channel. I recently came into some gift cards for Chapters, which is a Canadian bookstore, Indigo Chapters. At my work, there's a reward system in place where you can uh, get points and exchange them for gift cards. So I saved them up for the last couple years and so this is me splurging a little bit. So the very first thing that I got at Chapters are these notebooks. Um, they're like little journal uh, stationary things. So um, I'm obsessed with journals and I just... I wanted to get one of those leather bound journals, but they're a little too pricey for me. But these were on sale, so I got this and I got a fox one. These are eco-friendly, they're made with 100% recycled paper, so I feel less guilty for getting things I might not ever use because of my obsession. Just saying. <laughs> Because I was going on this big, huge, crazy shopping spree of chapters, I wanted to get the most out of my money of what I had, so I definitely hit the bargain tables. They always have bargain tables at chapters, uh, especially when they get a lot of new product in. So there's tables for like under $5, books, there were books for $2, so I definitely perused those um, sections. The first book I got is called God's War by Cameron Hurley. Hurley? Yes, Hurley. And I think it looks interesting. Um, I think for this haul I'm gonna read you some of the description. Um, uh, because I don't know anything about these books really, so I'm gonna go and read it and give you my first impression of why I got it, I guess. Um, this might make the video a little long. But I don't care. It's books. <laughs> okay, Nyx had already been to hell. One prayer more or less wouldn't make any difference. On a ravaged, contaminated world, a centuries-old holy war rages, fought by a bloody mix of mercenaries, magicians, and conscripted soldiers. Though the origins of war are shady and complex, there's one thing everybody agrees on. There's not a chance in hell in ending it on ending it. Nyx is a former assassin who makes a living cutting off heads for cash, but when a dubious deal between her government and an alien gene pirate goes bad, Nyx's, ugliest pa Nyx Nyx's ugly past makes her the top pick for a covert recovery. The head they want her to bring home could end the war, but at what price? The world is about to find out. So I think that'll be pretty interesting. The next book I got at the $2 table, even though I think it's previously been on another uh, bargain table, it just hadn't been sold, is a book called The Highest Frontier, and I'm not going to even begin to pronounce that name, so you can read it. And, and those who know how to pronounce those kind of Slavic names can um, read it, okay? <laughs> so I got this book because when I read the uh, information about it, it seemed like Oh, nice and normal, and then, wait, what? Um, there's a, there's a twist. So, so basically, it's about this girl who is a descendant from the famous Kennedy clan. Had a twin brother who died, and she's going off to college. Um, so we get to, you know, it's, it's exciting. Um, but it's an exciting school built in Earth's orbit with media money. <laughs> I actually missed that bit when I read it earlier. So that's that's actually more in, it's more interesting now. What got me was like she pretends she proceeds t through her early days at school and then deadly microbes and anthrax and AIDS and and are being modified and I think this is going to be an interesting sci-fi book. Uh I I can't wait to read it actually. So Next is another book from the, yep, $2 book table, and it's called The Revenant. Some Secrets Won't Stay Buried by Sonia um, Gensler, or Gensler. The G's are hard. <laughs> There's an excerpt of the book on the back, but it's basically, girl, no one can know who she really is. Mysterious things happen. Um... I think she might be a witch, uh, <laughs> or, or 
clairvoyant or something supernatural because then there's something about ghosts and things happening and uh has native Indians in it there's talk of cherokee boys oh she teaches the girl teaches at the cherokee female seminary so yeah i picked it up of an off chance that i might like it i've always been a bookworm but i haven't actually read a whole lot especially in the last decade or so i haven't been able to do much of my own reading because of school and and things happening in life so i'm really hoping to get into like just reading books i will tell you one thing i think what i'm gonna do is after i've read a one of the books or any of the books that i read i will do a full-on review about it on this channel um give this video a thumbs up if you like that idea. The next book that I picked up was it's actually I was debating whether to read to get it or not because I don't know it's very odd that I would pick up a book like this it's not some not the story that I would usually go for but I stood there and I read some of it and then, then it made me want to read more so that is why I got it and it's called The Hitman's Guide to House Cleaning by uh, Hel Grimoire Helgasson. Um, I'm thinking it's Icelandic, maybe? Because it takes place in Iceland? No, Iceland? Yes, Iceland. With some 66 hits under his belt, Thomas Love Boxic, or Toxic, has a flawless record as a hitman for the Croatian Mafia in New York. That is, until he kills the wrong guy and is forced to flee the States, leaving behind the life he knows and loves. Suddenly, he finds himself on a plane hurtling towards Reykjavik. Disguised as an American tele-evangelist, tele Father Friendly, with no means of escape from the island devoid of gun shops, this country with absolutely no tradition for contract killing, he is forced to come to terms with his bloody past and reevaluate his future to tragic comic effect. Toxic paints Iceland as an icy, icy netherworld where, in spite of peace appearances, danger lurks. In the guise of terrifying romantic overtures with tough girl gun holder, fear of being caught in his blasphemous deception and the threat of punishment at the hands of, Th of Thodor whose name seems to be pronounced torture. Seemed interesting enough, and the fact that I wanted to read more from what I was reading, is, yeah, that's a good enough reason to get a book. So I think I might read this first set of the books that I've gotten. Next, I got this book called The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. Um, it's about a girl who is um, a historian. Duh. <laughs> a story of a young woman plunged into a labyrinth where the secrets of her family's past connect to an inconceivable evil, the dark reign of Vlad the Impaler. So basically, Dracula, right? So obviously my vampire obsessed self, even though this probably has nothing to do with actual vampires, should be interesting, I guess. Um, I don't know. I haven't tested myself with this kind of book before, so... And speaking of vampires, I did get a book that apparently has a vampire in it. And it's Abigail, Abigail ba The Dark Heroine by Abigail, Ab eh, Abigail Gibbs. I don't know how she says her own name. It's a tongue twister. I know this was part of a series because I saw the other book first. It's Dinner with a Vampire. So obviously it says vampire on the cover. It's apparently the sexiest romance you'll ever read this year. I'm going to try it out. A chance encounter on a darkened street draws Violet Lee into a world beyond her wildest imaginings, a timeless place of vast elegance and immeasurable wealth of beautiful mansions and lavish parties, where a decadent group of friends lives for pleasure alone, a place from which there is no escape, no matter how hard Violet tries. All the riches in the world can't mask the darkness that lies beneath the gilded surface, embodied in the charismatic but dangerous Casper Varn. Violet and Casper are surrendered to a passion that transcends their separate worlds, but it's a passion that comes with a price. I feel like this is gonna be super cheesy and like one of those vampire novels, but 
I don't know. It was my guilty pleasure of this haul. Just saying. The very last book that I got was actually a book suggestion from my friend Stacy. Um, I asked a whole bunch of, like I asked on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook for book suggestions and from there I just, I took everyone's book suggestion into consideration and this was the, actually the only one I actually found without looking. So it seemed interesting. I looked it up before and it's volume one of the Silo series and it's called Wool by Hugh Howie. Basically it's a post-apocalyptic world where the last remaining human civilization is living under a silo in this underground city and there's little short stories about the people that are living there. So that is my hurl. Uh, seven books and two notebooks. Uh, it's a lot but should be interesting enough. I'm always happy when I get books. I love immersing myself into stories and and just imagining things and it gets the creativity flowing. I used to read a lot of fan fiction to write fan fiction so I have an idea for a book that I'm I'm hoping to write so I'm hoping reading and and getting into that kind of flow will help me out. The first book that I'll probably be reviewing is the one I'm currently reading. Uh, I've been off and on reading it now and then when I get a chance because I've been working a lot. Um, and that's a book called Outsider by Claire Delise. She is a YouTuber. I discovered this book because she is a YouTuber and she talked about it on her channel. She does makeup tutorials and um, a lot of art tutorials that I enjoy so when she said she wrote a book I thought it was going to be like another uh, non-fiction like all the other YouTuber book signings that have been happening but she actually did this herself so it's actually fantasy and it's the first fantasy book that I've been able to read past like the first couple pages because some fantasy can be really um, dense so I'm enjoying it so far uh, it has to do with a, it has to do with elves and dwarves and some humans. So I'm hoping to get a review of this by the end of the month. Don't hold me to that. School is starting in a couple days for me, so I am going to try to balance life and work and books. I just need to take some time away from the internet to read. I'm super excited to read all of these books and I hope I can get to them very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Uh, leave a comment of any other book suggestions for the future. I would much appreciate it. And with that, go watch something else now, okay? Bye. <laughs> Did you know that if you go to the kids section of chapters, they have these little basket things that you can wheel around the whole entire store because books are heavy.